Do you have difficult breath and erectile dysfunction? Namaste, welcome gentlemen. It's Anita Tadavarthi, I'm a licensed acupuncturist. I'm using my experience of treating 100,000 patients to help you along the way. Today, I've got a great self-care acupressure protocol that you can do at home. A common pattern that I see in my practice is when a gentleman comes into the practice and explains to me that he has difficult breath, whether it's asthma or COPD. He's not able to breathe as deeply. Also, a correlation that I am seeing is that there is also low energy and low blood circulation which can also accompany erectile dysfunction, not having that firmness and duration in the bedroom. This is a common pattern that I see. And the main cause from a Chinese medicine point of view is that if we are not able to take the breath, then the nitric oxide, then there may not be as much blood circulation helping with energy and also accompanying with erectile dysfunction. So I want to share with you a simple acupressure protocol that you can do coupled with nasal breathing that has many different great use cases here. It can help open up the lungs to help you to breathe more deeply and to take that breath. Also, when you are able to breathe more deeply, there's more energy and more blood circulation. When there's more blood circulation, then the blood goes everywhere, including to the genitalia, helping you with firmness and duration. Now, before I explain to you the acupressure point that we're going to do, also how we're going to couple it with nasal breathing, just wanna take a moment and remind you that with all matters related to erectile dysfunction, please go get checked out by your medical doctor. Just rule out that there isn't any medications that is causing erectile dysfunction and also confirming there is nothing more serious underlying that your doctor already isn't managing and helping you along the way. This is self-care, it can help, but I want you to partner with your medical doctor. Today's acupressure point is on the medial side of the hand. It is pretty much not the yang side, but the yin side. And we wanna acupress this area. When we acupress this area, especially the area that relates to this edge on the medial side, it relates to the lung channel. And when we acupress like this, it activates the lung meridian, helping you to take that breath deeper. I especially love the medial aspect of the forearm. And the reason why is that there are many different mirror images that we can work with. The entire forearm represents the entire body, all the way from the neck to the genitalia. In addition to that, the lung meridian, which is on the medial side of the forearm relating to the thumb, also can not only help you take that deeper breath, but it also can relax the back. And if the back is working more optimally, then it can help alleviate any back pain that you may have. It can help do that. And also when we balance the back, we are also balancing the front of the body, which can help you to bring more blood circulation, not only to the front, but also to the back, as well as to the root of the genitalia and the genitalia itself. And when we acupress like this, you can use firm or light pressure. I've seen no therapeutic difference on either. Be sure to do both sides. And we're gonna couple this with nasal breathing. Nasal breathing, you know this, is seated down or laying down. You could do rapid breathing or you can do slower breathing. Really find something that's comfortable for you. Breathe from your nose, close your mouth and breathe from your abdomen. And when I've seen patients do this, they usually do it for a minute, minute, maximum two minutes in the morning and evening along with the acupressure point that best suits them. So for the next minute, I want you to do nasal breathing with me and acupress the medial aspect of both forearm. Here we go.
be sure to do this for a minimum of one minute morning and evening along with your doctor's recommendations. Most patients see results within a couple of weeks to a couple of months. And after a couple of weeks to months, comment down below. Let us know if this is working for you. Also, if there is a topic that we haven't covered or you wanna know more about a, a particular topic, also comment down below. I wanna use my 20 years of knowledge wisely to help you along the way. Also, you know this, we are just doing great things here at Empirical Grace. We are putting the monetization money from our social media towards fundraising towards a free clinic in the Washington DC area. I grew up right outside of Washington DC and my dad worked at the Pentagon for a while. So if you want to give a donation, you can do so using the first link in the link tree as well as or the first link in the bio. Keep this in mind. Thanks for watching. And I wish you all the very best in being a man on the planet from your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tatabarthi. It's Anita Tatabarthi. I want to use my 20 years of clinical experience in giving you the best of self-care acupressure protocols to help you along the way. Please comment down below and let us know if these protocols are helping you. Most patients report that they see results within a few weeks to a few months. And if there are topics that you wanna know more about, comment down below. Your feedback shapes our content. And also want to give you a special message that we at Empirical Grace are doing just amazing things. We are putting the monetization money from social media towards establishing a free clinic in the Washington, D.C. area. I am from the Washington, D.C. area originally, and this has been my lifelong dream. So just know that as you watch our videos, the monetization money is going towards a great cause. And if you want to donate, you can do so using the first link in the bio. Thank you so much for believing in us, and I wish you all the very best in being a man on the planet. From your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tatabarthi. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapely Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which has now been converted into our clinic or free hospital. Um, we have been here for four months and we have treated about a thousand patients with over eight or nine thousand patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pain, lots of different types of pain.